Hi guys, welcome to a brand new episode of AB in the Films. Uh, well this was inevitable. <laughs> um, first of all, I want to point out, first uh, before I do this, um, I got this idea from uh, a YouTube critic that I am a huge fan of and I strongly recommend that you guys subscribe to his channel, Chris Stuckman. He did a video where he talks about every single one of his Blu-rays that he has. And I really liked that idea. I really did. Um, now, I don't own any Blu-rays, surprisingly, but uh, I have a big collection of movies that I've never really shown to you guys on the show before. And I figured, well, I might as well, you know? So I decided to split this up into three different uh, categories. One is, uh, well, actually two different categories. One is the VHS collection. The other one is the DVD collection. Now, the DVD collection is is bigger because I have TV shows on DVD that I'm going to show you as well. But I have a lot of video cassettes and they all still work and I keep them in good condition and I have a VHS rewinder which I am going to get. Um, it's one of those tape rewinders. Not on the VCR. You have one of those rewinders where you put the tape in and it rewinds the tape for you without ruining the VHS head um, or the head of the VCR because that usually ruins the tape the more you rewind it. So yeah, uh, these tapes are most of these tapes I've had since I was like, I don't know, two years old, <laughs> and they still work. I mean, most of these tapes I have are now turning 20 years old, so um, most of these are Disney films because I, I was a kid that grew up in the 90s, so yeah, every kid that grew up in the 90s had a Disney collection on video cassette. It's obvious. Um, but I do have a lot of other tapes here that I'd like to show you guys, so we're going to start with them. So here, the, I have some of them all layered out. And uh, so we're going to talk about the VHS movies that I own, and then we're going to talk about the DVDs I own. And, uh, yeah, so here we go. Here's my VHS collection. We're going to start, and there's going to be Disney movies around here as well, around in the mix. It's not just Disney movies, it's movies in general. Okay, here we go. A Charlie Brown Christmas. I have a lot of the, peen I have a lot of the Peanuts uh, holiday specials on video cassette. So that's Charlie Brown Christmas. Here's some of the Disney ones. Lady and the Tramp, Oliver and Company, The Aristocats, favorite Disney movie as, as a little kid. I, oh man, that movie was childhood. A lot of these movies are childhood. A Bug's Life. I have um, only three Pixar films on video cassette. The rest of them are on DVD and we'll get to those. Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Boris Karloff one. Sea Spot Run. I don't know if you guys remember this movie. It's not a it's not a very good movie, not really. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it was good when I saw it when I was a kid. It's not good now. Beethoven, very good movie. I like that a lot. A goofy movie, an extremely goofy movie. The the direct to video sequel. You know I don't know why I have this. I have two VHS copies of Bambi, and it's the same copy. It's the same 1997 uh, remastered version on video cassette. I think the reason why I have two copies of it is because, um, fully restored 55th anniversary limited edition. Yeah, yeah, limited. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's funny it says that. Uh, I have, uh... My guess is maybe it's because I already owned it and I got the other one for my birthday and no, and we never bothered to return it, so I have two copies of it on VHS. Okay. Flubber. Not a good movie, but I did like it when I was younger. The Rescuers. Max Keeble's Big Move. <laughs> Childhood right there. It's... This is a Nickelodeon movie, Okay. Why is it released under the Disney name? It's got Nickelodeon all over it. <laughs> Pokemon, the first movie. Yep. Disney's The Parent Trap, the Lindsay Lohan one. I, I never had the original one from uh, the 60s. Happy New Year, Charlie Brown. Okay. Jumanji. Dr. Doolittle 2. I don't have Dr. Doolittle 1. Just to let you guys know. Or Dr. Doolittle 3. <laughs> the Sandlot. I remember getting this. I remember getting that for my eighth birthday. <laughs> B 
Big Mama's House. I do like this movie. It's got flaws, but I do like it. It's the sequels I don't like. The Little Drummer Boy. The Rankin Bass stuff. I got the Rankin Bass stuff in here. Andre. I do like this movie a lot. Singing in the Rain. Got that for my birthday, too, from my aunt. The Adventures of Snowden. Do you guys remember this? If anyone's my age, do you guys remember this cartoon? I don't know if you do, but I haven't watched that in, like, years. I used to watch it all the time when I was little. The Wedding Singer. Home Alone 3. Here's the Rankin Bass stuff. Santa Claus is Coming to Town. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And Frosty Returns. And Frosty the Snowman's in the collection, too. Okay. Some more. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. The other ones are on DVD, and we'll get to those later. So this is that. Ferris Bueller's Day Off. SpongeBob SquarePants and Article Nonsense. This has uh, some SpongeBob episodes on it. Again, it was before the... Uh, the DVDs were coming out. <laughs> sea Stories. That's another SpongeBob tape. That's got some SpongeBob episodes on it. Beethoven Second. The last Beethoven movie to be released in theaters. <laughs> Snow Day. Okay. This is Paramount. This is Paramount Pictures and Nickelodeon movies, folks. Okay. This is back when Nickelodeon was good. <laughs> I don't care if this movie sucks. I like this movie. Hey, remember when the tapes were orange, folks? Remember the Nickelodeon movies when they were orange? You know what I'm talking about. Castaway. Like that movie. It's a very good movie. There's Wilson on the back. And by the way, just to show you guys. Still have it. If you're wondering what this thing is, when they when this movie... In fact, we in fact this came with the video cassette when you bought it. Uh, this thing here... What it what it does what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to go on top of your um, uh, your windshield uh, not your windshield wiper but but the antenna the pole that sticks up you're supposed to put this like right on there and it'll stick. My dad did that a lot on his Jeep when he had one because he wanted one too, but I still have mine. <laughs> okay, so I'll get the rest of the tapes. All right, everybody. Yeah, move the camera a little bit. <laughs> Okay, I got the rest of my tapes here. Uh, Frosty the Snowman is over there, uh, but there's no case on it. As you saw in the Christmas specials, Christmas special, I lost the case because I showed the, those tapes in that review. But anyway, here's the rest of them. And uh, yeah, I'm going to show them to you now. Here's the rest of them. Here we go. Okay. Ants. PDI DreamWorks' first computer film before Shrek. Hercules. Grew up with this film. Love that film. Tarzan. How most of us kids, my generation, were introduced to Phil Collins. <laughs> and Fun and Fancy Free. Love this film. And you know what? The only reason I ended up buying this film when I was a kid, my mom bought this for me when I was like four or five years old. You know why? Never heard of this film, but because Jiminy Cricket was on the cover, and I grew up with Pinocchio. <laughs> So, yeah, <laughs> that's the only reason I have that movie. And I love Fun and Fancy Free. I love that film. Very good movie. Very good Disney flick. All right. Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. I don't have Honey, I Blew Up, blew up the Kid. I don't have that one. But, uh, but this one was my favorite, Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. This was the third one. And it was direct to video. And this one ended up being my favorite one. That's my favorite one. The one when the kids have the party and the adults are shrunk now. That one was good. I, li I liked that one. Classic film. Chicken Run. Love that movie. Love Wallace and Gromit too. But that film is great. Childhood, man. I I I've had this tape since I was a kid. Okay? I've had this tape since I was a little kid. And th th this film, this film is... You know, I didn't grow up with Nightmare Before Christmas. This is what I grew up with. And I love this movie so much. James and the Giant Peach. And the same goes for this film. Yeah, yeah, Robert Rodriguez's Spy Kids. Love this film so much. Yeah, this was a good, this is a good film. Very good film. Toy Story 2. 
Love that one. Okay. It's the Easter Beagle, Charlie Brown. 102 Dalmatians. And I do have 101 Dalmatians. It's over there in the VHS collection set. The Wild Thornberries movie. Is it an orange tape? No, it's not an orange tape. It's Nickelodeon movies. I figured it'd be an orange tape. <laughs> the Prince of Egypt. I was really into DreamWorks as a little kid, because DreamWorks was just suddenly doing this now. They were suddenly taking off. Because Shrek had come out, and all these great films were coming out from DreamWorks. So yeah, there's a lot of DreamWorks video cassettes here. Anastasia. Don Bluth. I like that film. I think it's pretty good. Stuart Little. I like this movie. Again, childhood. Margaret Hamilton as the Wicked Witch of the West. Love this film so much. Polly. This is another DreamWorks film. This is on this is very underrated, this film, but it's a good movie. Here's another DreamWorks film. Mouse Hunt. Yeah, Mouse Nathan Lane. That's a great movie. And uh, The Little Mermaid. Yeah. This is the 1998 version, I think. Because there were a couple VHS releases during the 90s when this movie came out. Because this came out in 89, so yeah. Yeah, it's the 1998 version. Okay. The next ones. Ice Age. Not a big fan of Blue Sky Productions. Not a, even a big fan of Ice Age. This one, the first Ice Age, it's okay. Ice Age is okay. Ice Age 2 The Meltdown, I like. The rest of them I haven't seen, but I hear they're not that good. But yeah, the first one, I, I thought I thought this was okay. But you know what I noticed? This movie came out not even a year after Shrek came out. And, the, and this isn't even from the same production company as Shrek. There's a lot of vibes in this movie that make you feel like you're watching Shrek. Because that, that was such a huge hit, everybody tried to copy it. I mean, I'm not saying they were, but you get that vibe in certain scenes in the first Ice Age that it's like kind of like Shrek. Casper Meets Wendy. Yeah, it's a bad movie, but I, I do kind of enjoy this film. I do kind of enjoy it. <laughs> Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. That's classic. That's Walt Disney's first film. Snow Dogs with Cuba Gooding Jr. Yeah, I like this movie too. I watched it recently. I think it's still pretty good. Inspector Gadget. Yeah, it, it's bad. It's I know this is bad. I know it's a bad movie. I enjoy it. I know it's got nothing to do with the cartoon. In fact, you know, the sequel, which I do have, it's on DVD, and we'll get to that one in the DVD collection. Um, the sequel was actually more close to, to, the, um, uh, to the TV show than this one. This one's nothing like the TV show. Yeah. <laughs> and Mary Poppins. Yeah, the, I grew up with this movie. That's a huge film I grew up with. Okay. The two cassette tape of Titanic. You know, the first one. Uh, I lost the case for the first tape. The first tape, I lost the case for it. It has Jack and Rose on it, and here's the cassette for the second tape. I'll zoom in here, I'll show you this. That's a cassette for the second tape. And here's the back. Put this in. And it says all the uh, the Oscars it won <laughs> that year. You can pause that and read that if you want. So that's Titanic. And then you have this film that changed my life. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Classic film. <laughs> Here's some Christmas movies. White Christmas, Thing Crosby and Danny Kaye, great film. And, yeah, I know it's a bad movie, but I, I do enjoy it. <laughs> like I said, most of these movies I got when I was a kid, so, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is a good movie. This is the original 1988 copy. Uh, the movie came out in 87, but the, the VHS was released in 1988. Yeah, look at that. It says 1988 right there. Might be a little blurry, but it says like right there at the bottom. Yeah, Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. Great film. Very great film. Okay. Miracle on 34th Street. 
1947, Edmund Gwen, Natalie Wood, great movie. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, really good movie. Here's the first Home Alone, really good. I lost the I lost the case for this. Do you have any idea how many times I played this tape as a little kid? Too many. Way too many to count. Way too many to count. All right, let me just look here. Got some tapes here. Let me see what we got. We got a couple over here that I'm missing. Ah, here we go. This one I didn't go through yet. Here we go. All right. Okay, this one isn't mine. This one's my sister's, but it just remained in the video cassette uh, collection I have because th this is trash. This one, Little Mermaid Two: Return to the Sea. This is my sister's. It's not mine. I should probably sell this one. I don't know. <laughs> babe, Pig in the City. Don't have the first Babe, but uh, this one I, I really do like this movie a lot. And this is. Uh, this is directed by George Miller. Yeah, the same guy that did Mad Max Fury Road, folks. <laughs> I know, right? The Emperor's New Groove. I want to go into some history about this movie, because let me tell you, when this movie came out, I had no interest in seeing it, but I'll tell you how, okay? L l a little story time here. When I was in the second grade, because this came out in 2000, okay? So I was in... This came out in the summer of 2000, so I was going into second grade in the fall, 2000 to 2001. I was in the second grade. There was this kid in my class who was obsessed with this film. He would not stop talking about it. He could quote the entire movie. I'm not kidding. The kid knew line for line in the movie. He knew the whole thing. And he kept telling me, he's like, you gotta see The Emperor's New Groove. Please watch it. It's so funny. And I'm like, okay. So I went to BNC Video World because I went there before Blockbuster was around. That was my video store that I went to. And I rented it, and I watched it, and I was laughing so hard to this. This is a funny movie. Like, I, I love this movie, The Emperor's New Groove. I mean, it's great. So, yeah, one classmate who could not shut up about it got me to see it, and I'm glad I saw it. I really enjoyed it. Steven Spielberg's E.T., The Extraterrestrial. And here's the good part, kids. This video cassette was released in, let me try to find a date here, it was released in 1996. So this is the original version. It's the version at the end, right before Elliot and E.T. and the bikes go up in the sky. The government has guns instead of walkie-talkies. So yeah, it's before Spielberg tampered with it and with extra features in it. But I, I do know why Spielberg tampered with it. He has said in interviews that he didn't like that. So he decided to change it for the 20th anniversary. But this is the original version. Um, yeah, of E.T. from 1982. This is a really good movie. It's a great film. From Steven Spielberg. Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Yeah. <laughs> love that film. That's childhood to me. I love that movie. Here's another film that was childhood to me. Sleeping Beauty from Walt Disney from 1959. Great Disney film. Very underrated, I, I think. I mean, like, not a lot of people really bring up that one. You know? Okay, let me get these. All right, here we go. A Christmas Story, yeah, yeah, watch that every Christmas. Peter Pan, and you know, I like this movie a lot, and it's funny, and it's a cartoon, and to quote Roger Ebert, it's a cartoon, and the characters know it's a cartoon, and that's what makes it funny, and a lot of people didn't like it when it came out. I didn't see this in the theaters, but I saw it like when it came out on video, and I've had it ever since. I bought it from Blockbuster when it, when it came out, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. With Robert De Niro. Peep, everyone was saying this this movie is going to kill Robert De Niro's career. Everyone was saying it's going to kill Jason Alexander's career because Seinfeld just went off the air at this point. And it, I don't know what they're talking about. This is a funny movie. It's hilarious. Like, it, it can get silly and stupid at times, but it's a cartoon. And they know it's a cartoon. And that's what makes it funny. And I like it. It's a funny, funny movie. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. Um... Okay, what haven't I shown you guys yet? I've shown you that. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, there's one in the back. Hang on, let me get the ones back here. Yeah, it's kind of a big pile. <clears throat> kind of a big one. Okay. 
Hocus Pocus. Every Halloween, before we ended up buying it on video cassette, my sister and I would rent this from Block from West Coast Video. Then when we moved, we would rent it from BNC and Video World. Then after that, when that shop closed down, we rented it from Blockbuster. We rented this movie so many times, we loved it that much. It's such a great Halloween movie. We love that movie, and I watch it every Halloween. It's a great film. Everybody watches it every Halloween, I think. Well, most people do. <laughs> okay. Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. Ooh, it's got some dust on it. Haven't watched this one in a while. Yeah, Be My Valentine, Charlie Brown. I'm running out of room to put these tapes. <laughs> uh, this one's my sister's. The Princess Diaries, the first one. Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Love that movie. It's got a very, it's got a Mary Poppins vibe to it. <laughs> Toy Story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Toy Story. Had to have that. The Snowman. Love that movie. Love that. We would watch that every night. Every night around Christmas time, my dad and I would watch that with my sister. Huge fan of this. Turned me into an Andrew Lloyd Webber fan, and, you know, let me tell you this. I've never been an actor in a show, in, like, a musical or anything like that, but let me tell you something. If there was ever auditions for this, I would sign up. I love this show that much. I know all the songs. I used to dance and sing around to this tape when I was four years old, singing McCavity the Mystery Cat, Skimble Shanks the Railway Cat, Memory, Rum Tum Tugger, all these songs, love this show, love this movie. So, I've seen that so many times. And, uh, and it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown, yeah. I had a lot of the Peanuts holiday ones on video cassette. And I got a few more, and then that's about it, because I know this video is taking a while. <laughs> Anaconda, which isn't a very good movie, but, yeah, it's okay. Is another Spielberg classic. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Yeah, the first one. Yeah, this is a great film, folks. Great film. That's a really great film. And here we go, the movie that brought Eddie Murphy back in the mid-90s. The Nutty Professor. Great movie. Love this film. This is a good VHS. This is really good. This still plays really good, too. Yeah, this is a good... Spectacularly funny. Two thumbs up. Gene Siskel from Siskel and Ebert. <laughs> you know, I gotta tell you something. If you look at most of the video cassettes, because most of these I picked up in the 90s, and if you look at the early DVDs I have from like 2000, 2002, you're gonna notice a lot of quotes. If the movie was really good, you're gonna see a lot of quotes from Gene, Roger, and maybe Richard Roper, and, uh, and uh, Joel Siegel, and a lot of film critics, you know, that I am a huge fan of. So yeah, like, it's... I never noticed that before on these tapes. Uh, I think that's it. I think that's all I've got. I mean, like, I have a bunch of VHS... Here, I'll show you. I've got a bunch of VHS tapes over there. But those are all, like, home movies and stuff. So, yeah, like, I don't... I don't think you'll have any interest in that. Just the tapes that, uh, that I own that are relevant to the public. So, um, yeah, that's my VHS collection, guys. And, uh... I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, before I close this episode out, there is something I do want to tell you guys, because I know a lot of you don't have VHS cassette tapes anymore. And for those of you that do, uh, it's still cool to reminisce, right? But here's the thing. There's this YouTube channel that I subscribe to, and I highly recommend you guys subscribe to it. Because if you grew up in the 90s like I did, and even in the early 2000s, you're going to get a kick out of this. There's a YouTube channel called Retro... I think it's called Retro VHS Trailers. Subscribe to them. They took about... Almost every one of the tapes we just showed, we just reviewed here, and took the previews from those tapes and uploaded them. And here's the thing. I know this seems kind of stupid, but think about back to the 90s when you were a kid and you watched these tapes. I know that people say previews suck nowadays, but back then, when you had a, when you had a tape, it was basically like going to the movies. You start the tape, the previews would start of what was coming soon to theaters, what was coming soon on video, and then the movie would start. And maybe at the end of the movie there would be like a short film or a behind-the-scenes look at the movie and how they made the movie. Because, you know, the VHSs that came out in the late 90s or early 2000s were trying to compete with DVDs. 
and sadly they lost, but still. Um, previews before these tapes, like, to me, that was part of the movie. It always was for some reason. Like, I remember watching The Sound of Music as a kid, and there was this Rodgers and Hammerstein uh, golden anniversary collection uh, promo of people, random people, just talking about these films in a field. I remember watching that promo more than watching the film. There was something about that ad that I really, really enjoyed, and a lot of these movies, particularly the... Ooh, that's about to fall over. Particularly the Disney films, um... They have stuff like that. Like, for example, I never owned The Lion King on video cassette. I mean, I did, but I, I think I sold it at one point. But I remember owning it. And before it started, there was a trailer, not just the trailer for Pocahontas. It was more like the teaser trailer. Like, rem remember where all the trailer was was Colors of the Wind? And then it would say Pocahontas, and that was it, coming to theaters next summer in 95? Um, before that, you had, like, these two little kids going to Disney World, and they're talking about going to Disney World and everything. And... I remember seeing that, and I hadn't seen that in years. So this retro VHS trailers channel on YouTube, it's incredible. Like, the, almost every Disney film released on video, the trailers are on there. And it's, it's just, oh man, it's like being in a time machine. It's incredible. So if you have any interest in that, and I think you do, if you, if you grew up when I grew up, you're going to get a kick out of that. So, yeah. That's my VHS collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this. By the way, I do own the first Shrek on video cassette. It's over there, too. Um, I lost the case for that as well. Um, yeah. Uh, that's my VHS collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys later for the DVD collection. Later.